I don't know what's going to run because it was in their best interest to ignore what's going on. Because whether they're going to work or they're working on a program or they're working on fucking being a brain surgeon or they're being a bootlicking fucking old white lady who's tired of doing chores, it wasn't in their best interest to investigate for one reason or a fucking another. A bunch of out of touch idiots. Now, we get to the interesting part of the story. Is that when I go to the school, they took a large amount of time to ask me things and they did it on behalf of my aunt because my aunt after I went there acted like she didn't know that I was going there when my mom had told her before on the phone so why was she acting like she didn't know oh what school are you going to Mecca what campus when she already knew because she was trying to cover up her footprints and the bootlickers took her side they took her side all the way into the end, all the way to the nut house. But we'll get into that later. So, I go to the school. She go. It's one of the, remember, it's the largest college in the entire fucking country. So, when the staff at the largest college in the entire fucking country are teachers, and your fucking aunt is a fucking psychopath, fucking half-white Creole fucking witch from hell... Who knows how to make up fucking stories and manipulate people because her psycho ass has been doing it her whole life. Her own family doesn't trust her. Her own family told us, hey, when she gets to be too much of a burden, just call us. And then they, they were like, no, we're not joking. Seriously, we know how she is. And she was wild out for this reason. Now I'm not going to get into that. Anyway, so she wanted to make me look bad because she hated me. And she wanted to go, she wanted to further her ambition for money. She wanted to get money for herself and for her kids, and she saw by eliminating me, by distancing me from my parents and my family, which she didn't have to fucking do because they're already a bunch of bootlicking traitors who stab me in the back every chance they get. But anyway, she figured by contributing to distancing me from my fucking so quote unquote loving fucking family, I say that with fucking disdain in my fucking heart, okay, that she somehow is going to come up, that she somehow is going to get even more fucking money. Oh, I remarried Chike because I wanted to give him health care. Oh, just like Obama fucking became president because he loves you and wants to give you health care. Come on, you fucking morons. I'm sick of the idiots. I'm sick of the bootlickers. And I'm sick of the people who are so blind that even when I'm breaking it fucking down for them, they still don't get it. Now, I go to the fucking school. And what do they do? They put the bitch who is a fucking psychology teacher just like them. Remember, remember, what kind of degree does my bitch aunt have? Psychology. What kind of class was my ex-girlfriend teaching? Psychology. Which two fucking bootlicking demon whores from hell who I should fucking shoot linked together to piss me off? You guessed it. The trap fucking Patrice and that Creole fucking whore that worked my sellout bootlicking family to get a fucking rise out of me. Because they know when a motherfucker has more power than you and he can rise like the fucking sun, it's not hard to get a rise out of him. You think you're smart for getting a rise out of a motherfucker who's already pissed off specifically at you? You stupid fucking sheep. Sick of the lies. Sick of the idiots. And I'm sick of the half-ass traps set up by inferior fucking minds. That I see a mile of fucking way. And I point out to motherfuckers and they ignore because they don't want the liability. Or it's not in their best fucking interest. That's why I step down as your spiritual fucking leader. That's why it's a military dictatorship now. Everybody who's not on board can fuck off. That's how it's going to be.